I've been studying and researching the crucifixion of Jesus for about 30 years. Uh, when I was an undergraduate, I had a profound experience in a theology lecture. Uh, my professor was friends of a, with a theologian from the Vatican. And the, the Vatican scholar came and said to us, this massive class of undergraduates, uh, if you, whatever you think you know about the crucifixion of Jesus, you don't know. You, you just know what you've been told. You know what you've surmised from movies and from the text. It was far more harsh. It was far grittier. It was far bloodier. It was far nastier. It was far more corrupt than you've ever imagined. And then, as an eminent scholar, I think with five PhDs, he began to take us through the actual process of the crucifixion, uh, the biology of it, the physiology of it, the legality of it, uh, the Roman laws that kicked in, the laws of the Sanhedrin that kicked in, and it was as though every word in Scripture just exploded with meaning. And uh, I was fascinated with the crucifixion ever after. Uh, I read every book I could get my hands on. I read the, the scholars that were translated into English. It, it wasn't my vocation, but it was certainly something I was fascinated with. And I wanted one day to be able to tell it right, but I wanted to be able to tell it cool because the books that are written about these esoteric kinds of things, most people don't read. But I, I wanted to get a book on the market that would tell it in a way that the, the average guy would read and be moved by.